was important to us to tell Gilda's story because she was my best friend when we were doing Saturday Night Live together. I wrote a lot of her characters with her, for her, and the friendship became a, a deep-rooted one. Uh, she became best friends with Robin. The last TV appearance she ever made was on a show I created, co-created, called It's Gary Shanling Show. She's godmother to our children, so uh, the roots are really deep. So when I heard that this was going to happen and we were asked to be a part of it, we jumped at the opportunity. So much of our lives are in it. Our, our children, videotapes of parties, and lots of th things that took place with Gilda. But when I looked at the footage, when I saw, and I've seen the documentary about three, four times now, I, there were pictures and videos that happened before I met her with Marty Short and all the guys up at uh, Second City. I hadn't seen a lot of that. And I didn't know, as close as I was to her, um, a lot of the stuff that happened once she got sick. So a lot of the footage that she had of her in the hospital, and um, uh, I just knew what it was like when I saw her and spoke to her. So it just gave me a different perspective, one that I didn't have before. If I had to give myself a piece of advice, my younger self, just enjoy the ride. There's ups and downs. Ride out the downs, it's gonna get up again. And um, we went into this business for a reason, because we had a passion. Don't, don't lose it. And I know it sounds like a cliche, but just never lose your sense of wonderment. I'm 69 years old now. The first time I was here on this red carpet, I was 25, okay? And every time is like, wow, look where we are. L look at what we're doing. We, we did something that people liked. And um, just, just keep at it. It feels great to be nominated because every time you're nominated, that means people who are your peers enjoyed and appreciated the work that you've done. And I think that that's the greatest pleasure. Um, yeah, you want a wide audience for it as well. But when people who do what you do say, hey, good job, that's really a special um, sort of feeling.